Hello everyone, here we talk about the geometric mean. If the sales from a musk producer increased 10% in the second season and increased 20% in the third season, how much increase would be on average for each of these two seasons? If you answer 15%, unfortunately, that is wrong. 10% increase in the second season was comparing to the sales in the first season. 20% increase in the third season was comparing to the sales in the second season. The two percentages have different foundation. In this case, we cannot treat them in the same way by adding them together and divide by 2 to get the average increase percentage. If we assume that the sales in the first season was 1, then the sales in the second season would be 1.1 because of 10% increase. And the sales in the third season would be, based on 1.1, you have another 20% increase. So 1.1 multiply 1.2 give us 1.32. If we assume the second season and the third season have the same increase rate, x, then the sales in third season would be 1 plus x multiply 1 plus x. So when we try to find out x, we can get it from solving the equation below. That means 1 plus x multiply 1 plus x would meet 1.32 that is the sales for third season from here we get 1 plus x square equals 1.32 then we have 1 plus x equals square root 1.32 we solve it x turned out 14.89 percent so you can see it's not 15 percent the average increase rate for second season and third season is 14.89%. So this is the example give us the idea how we're going to figure out the average increase rate based on the time period. Generally, if x1, x2, x3 until xn are the increase percentages in each time period, the average increase percentage of these consecutive periods can be calculated by geometric mean. That's what the idea gives us. We have 1 plus x1, 1 plus x2, until 1 plus xn. They all multiply together, and then we do n's root. At the end, subtract 1. The n's root can also expressed by component exponent 1 over n can be expressed by exponent 1 over n so the formula we have two alternative ways be aware the nth root is not a square root here shows how you operate this calculation on your calculator so we have yx, that is exponent button. When you put all the product together, multiply, and make sure you have to start with double brackets. The bracket hold them together, and then you do the root or do the exponent. Here's the example. The return on investment earned by Atkins Construction Company for four successive years was 30%, 20%, negative 40%, and 200%. What is the geometric mean rate of return on investment per year? We apply all this data into the geometric formula so this is geometric mean give us the answer 29.45%
and here's the operation on calculator. We can also show you how this geometric means can be worked out in Excel in a very convenient way. Here we have our data copied in Excel worksheet. So we have the annual increase 30%, 20%, negative 40%, and 200%. They are in the format of our original information. We start from adding 1 to every percentage increase. Then we can use the auto filling to make it happen in a convenient way. And then we need to multiply all this number. So we start this way. The second one we start use the first one multiply second and then that's the way we do to prepare for using auto filling. So the last number 280.80% would be the product of the four number multiplied together. And then all we need to do exponent 1 over 4. We have 4 consecutive period. Minus 1. We can switch to percentage format with two decimal places. That's our standard. So here it is. 29.45%. That is the average percentage increase for each year. If we do not know the increase percentage in each time period, but we know the value at the beginning and the value at the end through a consecutive periods. The average increase percentage of these consecutive periods can be calculated by geometric mean below. So we use the ending value divided by the beginning value and then we do the square uh, nth root and then subtract 1. Or, alternative way, we do 1 over n exponent. On calculator, that's how we operate. Let's have a look example. The population of Alberta grew from about 2.97 million in 2001 to 3.29 million in 2006. What was the average annual rate of uh, percentage increase during the period? So when we check this information, we have beginning value 2001 and we have ending value in 2006. So the time period from 2001 to 2006, which is five years time period. So in that case, we use the ending value 3290350 divide by the beginning value 2974807 and then we do the fifth root and then subtract 1 give us 2.04%. That means over that five years period every year the population increase about 2.04%. You can have alternative expression with the exponent 1 over 5. And here shows how you operate this calculation on your calculator. Just to keep that in mind, any time when we handle the percentage increase by time period, the average should be calculated by geometric mean. It's not regular arithmetic mean. They are very different. Any time 
if we try to calculate the average percentage increase over time period, we use geometric mean. Keep that in mind. We also copy these two values of the population in different years. We finish this calculation in Excel bracket. Use the ending number, divide, beginning number, close the bracket, exponent, bracket, 1 over 5, close the bracket, subtract 1. Then we switch to percentage, give it 2 decimal place, 2.04%. That is our answer. You should practice this statistic functions in Excel, and you should realize that is very convenient, and it's important for you to have a skill on using Excel. See you next time.